and it is somewhat parallel. But when God so loved the world, he gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever so believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God would never ask Abraham to do something he wouldn't do himself. There is a tender yet undeniable relationship in what we lay at the feet of God and how much we truly trust him. I want us to close at this time with a couple more questions. I want us to just bow our heads. I want to ask you these questions one more time. As I asked you in the beginning of the message, This is not an instantaneous decision. It is progressive. Please keep that in mind if you choose to say yes to the Lord today. But I want to ask you again. Are you willing to say to God that he can have whatever he wants? Do you really believe the wholehearted commitment to God is more important than any other thing or person in your life? And guys, do you know that nothing you do in this life will ever matter unless it is about loving God and loving the people he has made? Our greatest fear as people and as a church should not be a failure. Please listen. Our greatest fear as individuals and as as a church should not be a failure, but of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. Wow. Our greatest fear as people should not be a failure, but of, of succeeding at things in life that don't really matter. What a paradoxical thought. My friends, my family, I call you that now, after three years. Will you put your life on the altar? God doesn't want your money because with your life comes your money. God doesn't want just an hour or two of the week because with your life comes that hour or two. God wants it all. He wants your guilt. He wants your shame. He wants your accomplishments. And he wants the things that satisfy you more than him. If the offering bag were big enough, I would say we should all put ourselves in that bag when it comes around. Because that is worship. Please consider the unending, unspeakable love of God that he did not withhold his very own son from us, but gave us, gave us him for all of us to share, worship, and find peace in. Thank you for your time, guys. Continue to pray.